Hey, hello, YouTube. Um, I have LG Esteem, and I think it's bricked, and I just need to find out if it's even possible to save it. Um, first thing I did is uh, I rooted the phone uh, to be able to, to try out the, the 4G tethering, and it worked fine. Um, you know, it wasn't blazing speed, but it was actually pretty quick when it connected to my, when I connected it to my laptop. Anyway, I also downloaded one of those apps so I can go inside the phone and delete the bloatware. You know, things like Boeing and Extra, uh, things like that. And I just kept going down the line, and apparently I deleted something I needed because um, when I did delete one of the applications, this message appeared. Right there, application.com, da, 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 da. and hit close. What's at the bottom one? Every time I hit the button, hit close, that that message would reappear, and I had to hit close again. And I actually ended up doing it maybe 20 times, and it didn't do anything. So I had to restart my phone and reboot it. And after I did, the phone actually just stopped on this screen that said Metro PCS, the black screen, and it didn't move on from there. And I waited maybe 30 minutes, and it didn't change. So I, I restarted my phone, and it, the same thing happened. That, that same result. I re, I think I rebooted maybe four or five times. Anyways, um, you got stuck there. I went online. Somebody told me you're probably gonna have to hard reset your phone. And I was like, well, I guess. And so I went ahead and did it. But while I was going through that, the setup wizard. When I was finally done with everything, I was at the end, and I was at the point where I was about to actually use the phone. It said, uh, a setup wizard is not responding. The application for the setup wizard is not responding. So I somehow deleted the application that let me actually use the phone. And so um, what I ended up doing is trying to find the application that I deleted, and and I connected my phone to my laptop so I can go on my my computer and, and place it in the systems folder, right? But um, those folders are, are inside the phone and they won't be visible to a laptop. Um, and so somebody told me the way I might be able to do it is if I have Android Commander. So I downloaded that and the um, thing is my phone um, wasn't visible on Android Commander. It, it wouldn't appear on the list. Um, and so Somebody told me that that's the case because my phone is not in debug mode. So um, that's the dead end right there because I can't, because the phone setup will not work, I, I can't go onto the phone and go to settings to put it in debug mode. So I can't use Android Commander, I don't think. So there that is. And so um, I also updated the drivers just to see if that would work because I read something online so I tried that and that, and that actually fixed everything. But that didn't do anything for me as well. I'm still stuck on the same uh, black screen with Metro PCS when I, when I boot it up regularly and also when I go through the, the, the setup wizard after I hard factory reset it, it also um, crashes at the, uh, the, when I'm about to actually use the phone. So um, comment below, please tell me if, if you think there's anything I can do, and if not, you know, just tell me straight up, you're going to have to send it into LG to see if they can do anything about it. And uh, thanks in advance.